Greg Owen is an abstract artist who creates his work of art in the cool hills of Mandeville. He joins us now via Zoom. Good morning and welcome to Smile Jamaica, Greg. Good morning. Thanks for having me. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. All right. Let's, what, what led you to painting? Did you always do well, this as a child? Go again. Did you did you paint as a child? What what led you down this path? Yeah, I started painting when I was about fourteen. But when I was in high school, then I did Cape and then I did CXC, where I came second in the Caribbean for a kind of a headpiece that I did. All right. So you know, most children when they're at school, um, even if they know art or do art, they they do it, but they do um, academic subjects as well. But, but you having advanced the Cape and so on, sounded to me like pretty much this is where you were heading with your life. It, it lights a fire inside me and it makes me feel, you know, like the world doesn't exist. Like, so yeah, it's part of me and I'm just excited to be doing art. Mm. What school did you go to? Um, I went to Meadowbrook. Meadowbrook. Um, so, yeah. so at school, when the teacher said, Greg, Greg you, you have talent. Um, let's pursue this. Were you initially excited to go down this path? What did your parents say? Well, at first, I, was, I didn't believe in myself as much as I should have. Mm -hmm. So at first, I was like, I'm not that good. I'm mediocre. Maybe, you know, people are not going to appreciate the art that I'm doing because I'm not like the typical, I don't do typical stuff. So um, my mom is my big supporter, my biggest supporter. Wow, wow. So you do a lot of abstracts and, and you do landscape. Tell me a little bit now about your work. What, what, what do you specialize in? I specialize, I basically, I'm an emotional artist. I paint based off emotion. Mm. Yeah. Um, can, a lot of canvas. What, what, what do you use? Oils. I use what do you use? I actually use acrylics and then I play with modeling paste and resin to give me like texture mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking at some of the work, yellows. Um, I see a lot of yellows. Maybe it's the ones we've selected, but tell me about um, the work. You say you're an emotional painter. Walk me through that process. So basically past life experiences that some way I use my painting to find closure on some situation. Yes. Tell me. And mm -hmm. when I see yellow, it reminds me of something bright and there's hope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, is that why the yellows? Because I'm looking at like, the yellow and I'm thinking, oh, it's sunshine, it's, it's brightness, uh -huh. it's the light. Is that what it is? Yeah, basically, it's yellow, yellow for me, it's happiness, it's joy, it's the sunshine beaming down on you. So it's, it's blessings coming down. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so after Cape, did you pursue art um, in studies or is a lot of what you do um, intuitive, for, for want of a better word? Um, intuitive. Uh -huh. At first, before I didn't really believe in myself and then one day one, my friend was like, I realized that you're doing paintings. Can you like do one for me? And I was like, uh, should I, should I not? I don't think I'm that good. Uh huh. <laughs> and then I did a piece and he was like, wow, you know that you're really talented. You should actually really pursue this. And then afterward, I was like, maybe, you know, this seems like something I can do. So after practicing and practicing, I guess my, my craft became better. Yeah. And I became more confident in myself. Wonderful. Um, the thing about abstracts I find is that it resonates with everyone differently. Um, everyone who sees it takes something different from it. It means something different to them based on their own experience. Um, right. Do you often have that challenge with, with art lovers? Like they'll see the piece and they'll say, oh, this is what it means. And you're like, mm, no. <laughs> have you had that? Have you had that challenge? Or do the they often want art, to right? say, Greg, what does this mean? Different... Yeah, yeah. Hmm? It can be viewed from different perspectives. So, like, I may see it as something, and then you may see it as something else. Mm -hmm. So, 
I, I get sometimes that I ask my clients or artists or other people to like, you know, can you interpret it this way? Yeah. Interpret it this piece for me, but maybe they may see it as a different, from a different point of view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you, you say you, you pull from your emotions and um, inspiration. Walk, how, walk me through that. Um, personal journeys, for example, things like, like what's happening now with COVID, um, cultural moments, social moments. What are some of the things that inspire your work? Um, well, as I told you, my mom, she's my biggest supporter. So some of them are like emoting love, mm -hmm. compassion. Um, some of them were, you know, some of my family didn't exactly support me doing art. So sometimes it's like I create art as a space of freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm I can, like, yeah. I'm seeing vibrant colors. Yeah. Is that a signature <laughs> of your work? It is. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that because I, I, I find the choice of color for an artist um, is a very significant thing. Um, why vibrant colors? Some people um, opt for dark colors, grays. What's with the colors, the vibrancy in your work? I think with bright colors, it, what should I say? It, it, um, it helps me to tell who I am as an artist, as in I am not pers personally like a dark person. I have like a very bright, bubbly personality. Mm -hmm. And I like to share, and anyone that's around me can tell you, I love to, you know, give and share a lot of love. So yeah. I think that's where the bright colors come from. I hate having like a boring, boring moment in like a space. So if, when I come into a space, I like to be, not, not to be the center of attention, but I love to create a party and have fun. <laughs> Not the boring type. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's what you want the art to represent in people's homes. Exactly. You want to light up the home and, and be that piece on the wall that um, sets the tone for the party. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for people who are watching, Greg, and they want to um, see more of your work and to support you, what do they do? Um, if you want to contact me, you can add my IG handle at artlover046. Art lover zero four six. That's right. All right, and they can they can go on that, and they can see some of your work on your IG yeah. as well. Most of my work on there, if not all. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, listen, you know I'm a creative, and when creatives pursue their heart and soul, um, I'm a big supporter. So I'm very happy that you followed this path because I think this is your purpose. Thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. It's a pleasure. <laughs> All right. There have it. Greg Owen, painter, art lover, life lover, inspiring us all. More and smile after the break. Please stay with us.